So just recently, I found out about this super lucrative side hustle that is extremely undersaturated right now. Interesting. This hustle has such a low barrier to entry. Pretty much anybody can do it. I can do it. I can do it. And before everybody starts doing it, I suggest you get on it immediately. So make sure you check out this video all the way through so you know exactly how you can start. Now this hustle requires zero experience. No previous experience required. You really don't need to know absolutely anything regarding any of the topics. Although if you do know a little bit, it will work to your advantage. But realistically speaking, you don't need any experience. The barrier to entry is super low and we're really going to be using AI for the majority of everything that we're going to be doing. So to start, these are the different web pages that we're going to be using. We're going to be using ChatGPT. We're going to be using Kittle, which is a design service, and we're going to be using Audible and Amazon. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head on over to ChatGPT. And once we're on here, we're going to go ahead and ask it, what are the top trending books in the self-help niche? Now for this one, I just asked it a self-help niche, but you can ask it for the top trending books in any niche. That's the good thing about this. If you're into a certain niche, like let's say me, for example, I like anime. I can ask it for the top trending anime books and see what it gives me. Or I could just put in my own input based off of what I know. But again, you don't need to know absolutely anything about any of these different types of books or any of these different topics. That's why we're using ChatGPT. That's why it's so easy to get into because again, you don't need to know anything. ChatGPT is going to be doing all of the work for you. So in the self-help books, some of the top ones are going to be Atomic Habits, The Subtle Art of Not Giving A, I can't say that on YouTube, Becoming by Michelle Obama, Daring Greatly, and Educated. Those are just the top five. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to audible.com. Now, for this, you do need a subscription, but if you sign up, you get some free credits. So you can start off for completely free. You can start off with a free trial. As you can see here, you can click to try for $0 and you have 30 days free. Now, the way Audible works is it typically works on a credit-based system. So you get a certain number of credits each month that you can use towards audiobooks. Now, what we're going to do is simply look for some of these different books to see if they are in an audio format. So first off, let's go ahead and look for Atomic Habits. Let's go ahead and paste it on here. And perfect, by James Clear, Atomic Habits by James Clear. So now that we can see that it's on here, we can go ahead and continue. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see in the listeners also enjoyed the subtle art of not giving an F. That is also one of the suggestions that ChatGPT gave us. But what we're gonna do now is we're simply gonna go ahead and open up a new tab. So what we're gonna look for is Audible Affiliate Links. Now the first one that we see is gonna be Audible Affiliates. Click on that. And all you have to do is join the Audible Creator Program. Now you can start recommending these different audiobooks. So once you sign up to become an affiliate with audible.com, you're gonna be able to get your own personalized links to all of the different books that are on this website. So whenever you recommend something to somebody, they click on your link, they make the purchase, or they just simply download the book, you're gonna get a credit. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you also get a credit if they sign up for the service itself. So if they sign up for the monthly or the yearly, you're gonna get a commission for that. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply run back over to ChatGPT and we're gonna ask it for a summary on Atomic Habits. So give me a summary about Atomic Habits by James Clear. So this is what it gave me and it gave me a pretty short summary. It actually gave me something a lot smaller than I expected it to. So you're going to have to play with the different prompts until you're happy with what it gives you. But let's give it one more try. So I'm going to tell it to make it a bit more detailed. Go by chapters. OK, never mind about going by chapters. If we do that, it's going to be way too long. So let's try something else. Let's try go by main topics. There you go. Perfect. So now it's giving us an intro. It's giving us the relationship. Make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy. So I guess these are all the different main points that the book is trying to make. So we can work with this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and paraphrase or rewrite what ChatGPT gave us. Now to do this, it's super easy. Just simply go on over to Quillbot.com. Quillbot is another AI system that can help us proofread, rewrite, and a few other things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to go ahead and just copy over some of the points that it's giving me, paste it on here, paraphrase, and there it is. It's completely rewritten. Now, of course, like I mentioned earlier, some of these might be longer. Some of these might be a little bit shorter. It all depends on what you're asking ChatGPT to do and what you're happy with. But pretty much what we're going to be doing is just this. So we're going to take each section. We're going to go section by section and you're going to keep paraphrasing. Let's go ahead and copy that. Now, what's the point of what I'm doing? So after this, what you're going to do is you're simply going to go to either your website or wherever you're able to write a blog. Let's say Tumblr, if that's even still around. I'm really not sure, but you can go to your own website, even if you're running a Shopify store and you can create a blog using what you're paraphrasing here. So let's say, for example, you can start a website that can give you different summaries of books. So readers can go to your website, search up a particular book and read a quick summary on it. So you can do this as many times as you want. I highly suggest you do this as much 
as you can with as many books as you can, because as we all know, there is an endless supply of books. So my suggestion is try to niche down. Don't go too generic when it comes to the books. Try to niche down per website. So maybe you can have one or two different websites, each focusing on a particular niche. One could be for entrepreneurship. The other one could be for fitness. The other one could be for self-help and so on. But go ahead and start a website for a particular niche. Start a blog on there and start organizing your different blogs through categories, through niches, through titles, however it is that you want to do it. But the whole point is going to be the summary of the book that the user is reading. And then once they get to the end of the summary, you're going to put your affiliate links on there for your audible.com links. So once you sign up for the Audible Creator Program, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to get your own links to these different audiobooks. So once you finish up and you polish your summary on Atomic Habits, at the end, you can go ahead and put the link to the audiobook itself. Now, another way you can monetize this particular blog as a quick bonus is simply by placing different ads on there. So for this, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is go on over to Google AdSense and sign up. Once you sign up, then you're going to be able to access different ads that you can place on your website. Whenever somebody clicks on those ads, you could get a small commission, all depending on the terms and conditions. But putting a few ads on your website can help you increase a little bit of revenue by pretty much not doing anything. Oh, and I almost forgot the AI images. How could I forget? This is what's going to really set apart your blog from a few of the others. You're going to have your own images and on top of that, your own unique images. So for this, we're going to use a service called Kittle. Now Kittle is spelled K-I-T-T-L and you can sign up for completely free. Of course, they have a paid plan, but you don't need to get that for what we're going to do. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and sign in. You can create an account for completely free. And once you're in, just go on over to AI tools. Once we're on here, go through AI image generator and start creating with Kittle AI. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go based off of a section. So the first one is the power of atomic habits. Clear introduces the concept of atomic habits, which are small incremental changes that lead to significant improvements over time. So this is something that we can use to come up with an image. Of course, like I said, it needs to be relevant to this particular chapter or to this particular topic or section. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, one of the easiest ways that I can think of doing this is simply by taking the text going back down to chat GPT and telling it, how can I represent this as an image? And then in quotes, put what it told me. And now let's see what it tells us. So atomic habits, small changes, big results. Image. Start with an image of a seed or a small plant. This represents the idea of a small initial change. Add arrows or an upward trend line to symbolize growth and improvement over time. Surround the plant or seed with smaller arrows or dots representing the concept of tiny improvements. So let's go ahead and take this, copy it. Let's run over to Kittle AI and let's paste it on here. Now, this is pretty detailed. I'm not sure how this is going to come out. We might just have to rewrite it for ourselves, but let's see. As you can see through Kittle, it is based off of a credit system. So every time you use the AI, you're going to use a credit or two or three. I don't know how many uses, but you're going to use credits. So this is what it gave us. And obviously this doesn't really work. So let's try something else. So I changed it up completely and I just wrote person reading in a dimly lit room because that could be an atomic habit that you start to use or you start to build. And this is what it gave me. Now, this is a completely unique image. You have all the rights to use it. So nobody's going to be coming after you for using this image. Now, after you have your image generated, all you have to do is click on export and download your design. We're going to use either PNG or JPEG. PNG typically is the higher quality, but you can go with either or. Now, the whole point of this is going to be simply to put it either at the top or at the bottom of each main topic. So you can either put it right under the introduction or right right under your summary. It's going to be the same thing for section one, section two, three, four, and so on. And that's the easiest chat GPT side hustle that you can start right now. As you can see, it's really easy to start. It has a very low entry barrier and the possibilities are endless. You can choose any niche. You can choose any book. You can choose every book, whatever it is that you like, you can go ahead and choose. So remember that right now, this particular hustle is very undersaturated, meaning there's not a lot of people in it. So get in early, start right now and start making some money. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means a lot. Please, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS. I'll catch y'all next time.